This is Dr. Stephen Thomas. What we have now here is a quiz based on the previous four dermatology lectures. I would encourage you to have a look at, look at each picture, pause, think about the possible differential diagnoses and then press play and then that'll show you the next slide which will show the condition, the causes and management. Here we have a breastfed baby brought in with irritability and poor feeding. You can see white discharge in the mouth and this is as a result of thrush or candidiasis. A 70 year old lady presents with this tender scaly lesion on the right cheek. The important thing to notice is the erythematous base and the keratosis on the surface. This is actinic or solar keratosis. Here we have a 17 year old lady who presents with a rapid onset bald patch while preparing for her HSC. It is important to note that the bald patch is quite well demarcated. The skin here is quite healthy and there's no generalized hair loss or generalized scalp disease. This is alopecia areata. A three-year-old boy is brought in crying, unwell and febrile with a painful left knee. It is important to note that this is a skin condition rather than say septic arthritis where there is a joint condition, there is a red margin with bullous formation. This is cellulitis. A 32 year old man presents with a painful skin eruption. Note the small vesicles in a dermal distri distribution on an erythematous base. This is herpes zoster, but in this case, it is important to remember that herpes simplex and herpes zoster are both, both conditions, infections that can cause a vesicular eruption. A 12 year old boy is brought in with a non blanching spots on his buttocks and legs. Non blanching spots on the legs, otherwise known as painful purpura, is due to a vasculitis resulting in bleeding under the skin. And in this case, it is Henoch Schonlein purpura or vasculitis. This 24 year old lady presents with two days of this tender eruption on her face. Again, it is a vesicular eruption on an erythematous base. And as previously discussed, consider herpes virus, herpes simplex. A 50 year old man has had worsening toenails for the last two years. Here the nails are thickened and lifting off the nail bed or otherwise known as onycholysis. This is onychomycosis, fungal infection of the nails. A four-year-old boy is brought in by his mother with this yellow brown caked on discharge around the mouth and nose. This is impetigo, a superficial infection due to staph or strep. This 12-year-old girl has six months of lesions on her face. The lesions are flesh colored and papular with a central umbilication, which is typical of molluscum contagiosum. A five-year-old child is brought to you with an itchy scalp. Of importance are the numerous little attachments to the hair. And these are nits or lice. A 32 year old man notices these unusual spots on his hands over the last few days. This is the target, the typical target lesion of erythema multiform. A 20 year old lady has two weeks of a non healing area following a minor injury. This is made worse by the moisture around it, which 
can be assumed from what looks like has been a band-aid applied to the area. This is pyogenic granuloma. Here we have an unwell seven-year-old girl who has developed these skin lesions over the last two days. Again, a vesicular eruption on an erythematous base. This is chickenpox caused by herpes varicella zoster. You notice this lesion on the arm of a 70-year-old lady. It has been present for at least 18 months and is slowly enlarging. This is an erythematous macular, almost plaque-like lesion with some surface keratosis. And this is Bowen's disease, or in situ SCC. A 40-year-old man asks you about this non-tender lump on his left deltoid area. The lump is indurated. You pinch the skin and it becomes indented, which is a dimple sign of a dermatofibroma, which is benign. A 49-year-old man presents with a rash over his trunk, which has developed over the last few days. This is a salmon pink type rash. On the trunk is in a fir tree type appearance and may or may not have this preceding herald patch. And this is pityriasis rosea, probably a viral condition, which is self-limiting. A father brings in his unwell three-year-old son who is febrile, has a runny nose and runny eyes and a productive cough, has this widespread macular rash. Typical presentation for measles, though this is rarely seen these days due to measles vaccinations. A 14-year-old girl presents with six months of this skin condition in her cubital fossae. The skin here is irritated, inflamed, dry, eroded. This is atopic eczema. A 54-year-old man presents with 12 months of a scaly and slightly irritating skin on his face. You can see erythematous skin with light scale, particularly around the nose and on the malar areas. This is seborrheic dermatitis. A 32-year-old lady presents with progressive loss of skin pigmentation. This is vitiligo, which is an autoimmune condition. A 30-year-old lady notes several weeks of this mostly asymptomatic skin condition. So there is an erythematous or slightly pigmented macular rash. The lady may also be um, a, a swimmer where the skin may be more moist than usual. This is tinea versicolor. A 57 year old man has had several years of this facial condition. There are numerous erythematous papules on the face, on the forehead, cheeks, nose and chin. There may be pustules but there are no comedones. This is rosacea. A 17-year-old backpacker presents with this very itchy skin condition, a very widespread red papular itchy rash over the trunk, and then typical red burrow signs on the wrist. This is scabies. What condition is present in this 15-year-old girl? Typical red nodule areas, pustules, probably comedones. This is acne. Describe, diagnose and treat this lesion. This is a nodule on the right upper nose. It is pearly with quite prominent telangiectasia. Clinically, this is a basal cell carcinoma. This would require excision and then probably a graft or flap to repair the defect.
This lesion developed over two weeks. Describe the lesion and counsel this lady. So you have a rapid onset nodule on the left upper lip with a keratin plug. This may be a keratoacanthoma or it may be a squamous cell carcinoma. In either case, treatment would be to remove the tumour. There is an option to observe the area and to wait for resolution of the lesion, though this is used very cautiously in case it is a squamous cancer in which delay of treatment may cause serious, uh, uh, serious consequences. This 35-year-old man has had many months of tender lumps on his heel. You can see the footprint is disrupted by these lesions. These are viral warts. There are numerous treatment modalities. The main thing here is with any treatment modality to be very persistent as warts can, viral warts can be very recalcitrant. Describe and discuss these lesions which are present on the back of a 75 year old lady. These are stuck on brown rough lesions. These are benign seborrheic keratoses. Describe this rash. What is it? What other parts of the body can it affect and how do you treat it? This is an erythematous plaque like rash with adherent scale on the trunk. This is psoriasis. You notice this lesion on the arm of a 78 year old man. What is the differential diagnosis? Here we have an erythematous nodule with surface keratosis. This would lead you to the diagnosis of either a squamous cell carcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma in situ. This 21 year old lady comes to see you with tender red nodules on her lower legs and a dry cough. This is erythema nodosum and the dry cough may be due to mycoplasma pneumonia. Describe and diagnose this itchy rash which has developed over the previous few months. On the lower leg, there are multiple violaceous polygonal nodular areas and on the mucous membrane there is a white lacy spider web like appearance. This is due to lichen planus. A 50 year old man notices this enlarging lesion on his back. This is almost certainly melanoma which requires excisional biopsy with a two millimeter margin for diagnosis. This is a 14 year old girl and is unwell and febrile. What is the likely diagnosis and what does urgent management entail? This is meningococcal septicemia, urgent IV antibiotics and admission to hospital is required. A 10 year old girl has developed these facial lesions. What is the differential diagnosis and treatment? This is caused by tinea, a dermatophyte skin infection. Thank you for watching this quiz. I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.